Anyway, me and the other hallucinations are ready to film that sketch whenever you're ready. There's not gonna be a sketch today. Well, why not? Did you forget to write it or something? Oh no, I have one. It was laid out, scripted, all ready to go. It's gonna be a little more wholesome. Talking about how much I miss people and how things during this time are a little rough, but something happened this week. And now I feel like I should probably hold off on releasing that video. All right, well, I guess I'll break the news to the guys. Before you go, I have a quick question. Am I a good person? You and I both know you don't want me to answer that question. That's the answer I was afraid of. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vlog. I am Steven Williams and I am here to bring you last week's events. So to start things off, uh, this week we had the governor's office and of course I decided to start training uh, Eddie up there so he came with us because I want to get Travis, Mark, and Eddie all trained and ready to go so that they can operate without me. At the moment it's still looking like I'm going to be returning to campus on the 15th and so I need to make sure that these guys can handle the entire operation by themselves. Uh, it looks pretty promising though. They ran the entire broadcast last time so the next time we go up there, probably this week, they're, I'm gonna let them set up the whole thing themselves, the stream, the lights, and everything, and just kind of watch them. If they can do it all on their own, then I won't have to worry, and I can uh, start focusing on my campus job while they're taking care of that. Secondly, to expand my creativity a little bit more, I actually finally launched my World of Warcraft slash gaming channel on YouTube. It's called The Faceless One, named after actually creatures from World of Warcraft known as the Faceless Ones, and I think they're some of the most interesting characters because they're the servants of the old gods, and they're just an all-around great war story, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm doing a cinematic rundown of all of the Warcraft cinematics to try to explain the significance of them and just how it really got the players involved into the World of Warcraft, not just old players, but new players. Um, but I think that the channel is going to be more gaming centric and also kind of theory crafting. It's going to be a lot of different little things just so I can start putting out different videos on that stuff. I want to do theories about uh, online shows. I want to do gaming videos. I want to do uh, even getting back to Curious Gamers with Travis and Mark um, just to kind of fill in the gap so that we constantly have this new content coming out. It's not just the same thing over and over and over and over again. So I think it would be really fun to keep working on that and I'm really excited about it. Another thing that happened this week was, of course, uh, Brenna Darling, uh, Claire's sister, graduated from the uh, College of Pharmacy at the University of New Mexico. But of course, she wasn't able to do any big extravagant graduation ceremony or anything like that. They actually ended up doing it through Zoom. And we were just trying to think of some fun things to do for her just to kind of, you know, make things a little different and unique, you know, for her hangout with her parents at her house. And uh, I decided that I wanted to make her a little video, you know, so I made a video and I actually drove out there with uh, my TV and my speaker system that I set up in the back of my truck running it off of the truck battery to show her the video. So that way we were still distance apart so that we're not spreading any possible coronavirus if anyone has it. And uh, it just overall worked really well. I didn't really get any footage of it. Claire took a lot of pictures, but I don't really have those. But this is the setup that you're seeing behind me uh, with the truck, uh, just how it kind of laid out and how I got it to work. And uh, it was a lot of fun just to really make real quick. And I just want to say congratulations again, Brenna, on a job well done and graduating. Another kind of fun thing that I was doing this week too is I've actually been riding my bike around a lot more just to you know, get a little bit of exercise and get out of the house. And uh, this last week, I didn't really know where to go or what to do, so I decided to just go on a trip visiting all of my old houses that I grew up in. So uh, as you see behind me, these are the four houses. I basically rode up to them, snapped a picture, just so I'm like, hey, made it all the way this far, click. And uh, especially the Cayo Primero one, it's pretty well ways, you know, that way from my house, so it was kind of interesting to go by it. But uh, yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool. The beauty with having a bike versus just going for a run is just how much further you can get, just how many places you can visit. Doing runs, you're pretty much stuck to just like the same area around your house, so it's like, it adds a little bit more excitement. So that's pretty much all I have for this week. Uh, this coming week, uh, not too much big as planned, but I do have a Zoom hangout that uh, I'm planning with uh, a lot of the group. So I'm trying to get uh, everyone to come join us. So Elise and Alex have already talked to us. Mark's probably gonna come over for that so that we can talk all together, all of us. And um, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun because we haven't really talked to any of us in a long, long time. And I'm really looking forward to seeing and hearing what they've been up to. Um, but then other than that, next week, I'm probably gonna be returning back to campus for work unless the governor extends the lockdown uh, rules. But uh, we'll just have to see how that all plays out. So thank you for watching guys. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.